Hi there and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I did this look, which I wanted to go bold and creative and I wanted to do a maximalist makeup look. Just hoping that the makeup trends will shift towards a more creative, um, bold makeup again. Here it is, it's colorful, it's shiny and I love it. And if you love it too and you want to see how I did it, just keep on watching. Alrighty, I don't think I did a cut crease since 2019. Anyway, I primed my lids with the Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer from Too Faced. As first shade, I'm gonna pick a Dream from the Wahala 2 palette from Juvia's Place. So I'm gonna pick this dark blue here, and this is gonna go in the outer part of my crease. I'm gonna need my trusty Morphe M149. This is my favorite brush. It's a pencil brush, it's very useful. I used it for two shades in this look. So uh, now I cleaned it again with a brush cleaner. So I'm ready to start over, so I'm gonna pick up Dream. So this is gonna go right here, pretty high up in my crease, in the outer part of it. This brush is very small and precise, that's why I like it. And I'm gonna blend this with... I can't remember what shade I used on the other eye. I think it was Wicked. I'm not so sure though. Maybe my eyes will turn different. We'll see. And this is a Morphe M506 brush, another very useful one. I'm gonna place this slightly higher up. And then I'm coming back to the previous brush with whatever shade is left on it to help blend the two tones into one another. And next, the usual cut crease technique, I'm gonna pick up a concealer, the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour more than concealer and the flat concealer brush uh, this is from morphe but it was from the from a, from a brush set so it has no number i'm gonna pick up just a tiny bit of that concealer because it's very high coverage so you don't need a lot of it and i'm gonna use it to carve my shape this is a difficult part. You have to be very careful. I'm barely even breathing right now. Whew. And I'm gonna bring it down, blend it on my lid as well. I'm gonna need one of those useless cream shades, which I have one in front of me from the Cozy Earth palette from Catrice. So I'm gonna pick up this cream shade on a Julia's Place small buffer brush just to set this um, concealer into place. And since I have it in front of me, I'm gonna use a bit of the Fenty Diamond Bomb on top. This is glitter. I was just looking through my palettes last night and uh, I swatched this shade from the Ultimate, I know that's Bright palette from NYX, this purple right here. Today I knew I wanted to use this shade, I didn't know what else I wanted to do. This shade was my inspiration. I'm gonna carve out an eyeliner, an eyeliner sketch with this shade and I'm using a Juvia's Place small definer brush. And I'm gonna apply it all over the base of my lashes. Yeah, basically placing it in an eyeliner shape. So I'm doing a little tail as well. And using the tip of my brush is really helpful to sketch that line. Okay, now I wanna intensify it and I'm gonna do that with a black eye pencil. And to be more precise, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Tattoo Eyeliner in the shade Deep Onyx. And again, I'm gonna apply it at the base of my lashes, but not as high as I did with the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna keep it closer to my lash line. And again, doing a little bit of a wing. And quickly, I'm gonna use my pencil brush again 
Oh, it doesn't matter that it has eyeshadow on it. It's just gonna mix. And I'm gonna use it to smudge the pencil to create a more faded wing. So I'm doing little left and right motions. And here in my other corner, I like flicking my brush towards my temples. So it creates a nice smoky eyeliner. I think I need a bit more pencil, especially here in my other corner. My other eye seems a little bit darker. And blending it again. I'm gonna clean up my face before doing my face makeup because I got a lot of fallout. Okay, I applied some mascara and outer corner lashes, which I now realize they are a little too subtle. Uh, you can barely see that I have outer corner lashes, but I guess they add a little bit of volume, so it's fine. I'm gonna move on to the face makeup, and I'm gonna start with the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Skin Tint with Vitamin C. And this is the shade 05.5, and I'm gonna shake it a bit because it has a very liquid texture, so... It's recommended that you shake it first. Praying that I won't get any of this on my clothes. Usually when I try to use these applicators like that directly on my face, I uh, get it on my clothes. And I'm gonna blend this in with a sponge. As concealer, I'm gonna go for the same L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Morning Concealer. These products have very long names. Again, I didn't apply too much because this has a lot of coverage. So I'm mainly concentrating it in the inner portion of my under eye. And I'm using the same sponge to blend it out. I'm not gonna set it just yet. I, ha I have a few more cream products to apply first. And I'm gonna go for the NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Light Medium. A bit of that to contour my face. Like that. This is a setting brush from Real Techniques. Again, I like the fact that it is precise. Especially because this product, the NYX contour stick is a bit too dark for me. I could have used the lighter shade, but they didn't have the lighter shades in stock. And I really wanted to try it, so I got the shade light medium. But I don't want to spread it carelessly all around my face, since it is a bit dark. I'm gonna use the highlighter part too. Again, a bit dark, but it works, I guess. <laughs> And I am using my finger to blend it out. And I'm also going to use cream blush. And I'm reaching for my She Glam Liquid Blush in the shade Love Cake. I am blending it with the Juvia's Place bl Tapered Blending Brush. I'm doing little stamping motions to make sure that I don't move the foundation and concealer everything underneath the blush. Now that I finished with the cream products, I can set with powder and I'm going to use the Revolution Baking Powder in the shade Lace. First, I will make sure that there are no creases underneath my eyes. Picking up the powder on an eyeshadow blending brush and I'm using tapping motions and applying the powder underneath my eyes. And I'm also bringing it down and setting my pores, this area, to blur them out. And that's all the setting that I'm doing. Uh, usually I don't set my cheeks. I have combination to dry skin. I do need powder to set my concealer, otherwise it will crease. But the rest of my face, I don't have oiliness on my cheeks, so I prefer to leave um, this area powder free. I did some things on my eyes and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to show you how I did it. I mean, I'll really show you because it's not actually a tutorial, it's just how to draw these shapes with an eyeliner. I'm using the NYX. It's the liner, 2-in-1 liner and lash glue. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, I'm gonna use it to uh, do some sort of an inner corner. This is not a wing, but it's sort of like a shape. It's interesting as well as it defines my inner corner, so I can appreciate it. So 
So I'm gonna start here from the upper part of my e lid, I guess, and then do a little turn and connect that to my lower lash line. Ooh, why am I speaking while I'm doing this? Oh, I forgot to highlight my inner corner. Because on this other I used some sort of a whitish silver shade. It was this one. Let me see what I can do now. Maybe I can go around it. Nah, actually I'm gonna go all in and uh, draw the line on top again. Good as new. I'm gonna do uh, another curved shape here in the inner portion of my crease. I hope I can manage to make it symmetrical to my other eye. An impossible task I would say, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, this is not bad, I think. No, they're not symmetrical, but... <laughs> I'll take it. I will stick some rhinestones to my eye with lash glue. I have the dual lash glue here, and I'm gonna use a toothpick to place the rhinestones. So first I'm gonna pick up the glue using the toothpick and I'm gonna put it wherever I want the rhinestones to go. So right here, one, two, and one more. So now that my toothpick has a little bit of lash glue on it, I can easily pick up the rhinestones, they will stick. Whew, okay, four there, and I'm gonna put one more inside this weird little shape. This shape is not shaping like the other shape is shaping. I don't have enough space in this. I don't have the patience for this anymore. I'm gonna finish off with some lower lash line mascara. And for the lips, this time I'm really gonna keep them light nude. I'm gonna line them with the NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Beige. Filling in the sides as well, and I'm gonna apply just a gloss on top. I am gonna finish everything with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Pearl. This is really lovely. It smells amazing, first. And then it has tiny glitter particles. It's very beautiful. Mm, isn't that so pretty? Anyway, here's the look. Bold, creative, just how I like it. <laughs> this is what makeup should be about. Creativity, self-expression. Hope uh, the trends will step into that direction in 2024. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. I hope you enjoyed the look and the I hope this video inspired you in some way, and I'll see you next time. Bye!